Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing from episode 2. If you haven't seen this episode yet, just so you know, I'll be getting into some spoilers starting right about now. This episode picks up right where the last one left off. We've got Tabitha and Julie who are being brought to Colony House, I believe it's called. And meanwhile, Ethan and Jim are in the camper. And hopefully, you know, Ethan's gonna get helped. And spoiler alert, he gets helped, gets that pull out of him. But there's a lot going on in this episode and it really is just picking up right where the last one left off. So as Tabitha and Julie are getting to Colony House, they have this brief interaction with the creatures that just kind of shows that really when you look at them, they aren't all that scary. They just kind of look like zombies or ghosts almost. But then we get some really disturbing and graphic descriptions by Donna and some others in this episode explaining how these creatures have like brutally killed loved ones. And Donna is just like this super intense person and I guess Colony House has a weird way of treating people. They like tie Julie and Tabitha up and they're like, everyone's first night is different. I don't know why they had to tie them up, but that's just what they chose to do. So Julie kind of, she meets this guy. He's super creepy. He's like drawing stuff, which is weird because I think his name is, yeah, Ellis, who is Boyd's son, also like paints stuff. So we got two artists. I know that's not that weird, but it's just a little weird. Um, but Donna tells Tabitha basically they're in this town that has this loop and there's these creatures and she's kind of like, Ugh, I don't know how I be much I believe you, understandably. And meanwhile, back at the camper, Boyd is trying to tell Jim that there's these creatures outside and Jim's like almost wanting to go out inside. He's like, well, why can't we take a look out? And we're just like, Jim, no, you can't do that. <laughs> um, we also get a few scenes of Kenny's father in this episode, just kind of sprinkled throughout and pretty much foreshadowing that he's gonna die. Um, which, I don't know, I kind of liked his character. I don't know if it was really necessary to already have him killed off, but they've already killed a lot of people and it's only been like a day or two in the timeline of the show. Um, but another storyline that's going on is this girl, Sarah, who killed someone that was at the hospital and then she like left the doors open leading to the creatures killing Kenny's father and the nurse that was there but I don't really know what's going on with her I guess she is being controlled or forced or told to do things I don't know if it's the creatures or what it is um but Ultimately, the doctor, Christy, she's able to get the pole out of Ethan's leg and the Matthews family has a nice reunion, but Kenny does not have a happy ending in this episode. It's weird because the Matthews almost get a happy ending, but then not really. It's only episode two and they're stuck in this town forever. <laughs> but Kenny's father, basically, yeah, he dies. It's super graphic which is one thing I'll just mention. I, I don't know how much, how likely it will be that I'll continue watching the show just because it has been really graphic. And there's also like teen drama that I'm not a huge fan of, but there are aspects of the show I like, just kind of the mystery aspect of it all. Um, but Kenny, I don't know what this means for him and his role in the town as I think he's like the deputy. Um, but I guess we'll find out and see. I am, I noticed one thing, Boyd wore a wedding ring, wedding ring, wedding ring. So I guess he was married at one point and had some sort of family besides his son, Ellis. So I'm sure we'll get to see what happened with that and violent graphic detail. But then also I'm wondering, is the Matthews family just going to kind of accept their fate and build a house and live in the town happily or what's going to go on with that? I am not really sure. Sorry for this kind of graphic image. I'm not going to show that any longer. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say for this episode. There's kind of a lot that happened, but at the same time, 
not. <laughs> like, I guess we learned a little bit more about some of the characters, but I am interested to see where this mystery will go. But at the same time, there's a few reasons, the violence and just the kind of the almost, I don't want to say the show's cliche because it does have a lot of original aspects, but then there's a lot of things that I've seen before. But let me know in the comments what you thought of episode two and if I, sh if I should continue watching. I'm not sure if I want to, so convince me in the comments below. And you can check out my other reviews if you would like as well. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you want. But whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Thank you everyone so much for watching and God bless.